The walk from the Celtic Park Tunnel out onto the famous Paradise Pitch is one of the most iconic journeys in world football. And this Thursday, it will be made by the Celtic FC women's team when they take on Glasgow City in the SWPL. Chloe Craig, um, one of the players who will experience um, that. You have experienced it before um, when the stadium was closed, but Chloe, there will be thousands of supporters cheering you on on Thursday. How much are you looking forward to it? Can't wait. Um, it's something that we've been building up towards um, this week, so... To walk out there, hearing the fans and hearing the music, um, it will be surreal. The ground staff, as we can hear, are getting the pitch ready, but not for the men's game. They're getting it ready for, for yeah. your game. It's such a crucial match as well against a team who have been a dominant force in, in Scottish football for years. But you're still in there fighting for the league title right up until the death. Talk to us about how impressed you've been with the performances this season. It's been incredible um, from the top three teams, especially us as well. I think that we've pushed ourselves on from last season. Yeah, we got the double, but I feel as if we've proved ourselves in many other ways. Um, but like you said, like this is the biggie on Thursday, so hopefully we get we get the three points and we can hopefully get in our trophy. The men's team have got this phrase, we never stop. I feel as if the women's team, because of some of the, the, the late goals this season, have got this never say die attitude. That must fill you with confidence knowing that even if perhaps a game isn't going your way, there's something about the collective group of players that can pull you through in the end. Yeah, of course. I think it's just having the belief in each other. Um, we've done that since the get-go. Um, even if we went 1-0 one, one down, there's no panic, there's no stress, because I believe in every single one of us that we're going to win it. Um, but it was just like on Sunday, uh, we never gave up, we kept pushing, we never stopped. Um, just like the philosophy of this club. Mm -hmm. And Glasgow City as well, as, a, as an opposition, as I said before, a real dominant force in Scotland, but you've won the last two games against them. And in a sense, is that maybe a kind of a psychological barrier being broken there? I think so, yeah. They've dominated the league for many of years now and many games in the previous years against us. So I think that now that we've done it, that we can, we can have that mentality that we can do it and we can do it time and time again. But it's just showing up on, on Thursday night and, and crossing those white lines and coming off them with three points. Yeah, I mean, the... The women's game itself is obviously a, a burgeoning sport and it's, it must be great for you to see the same faces that come and see you um, week in and um, week out. But the togetherness you can see in the squad, led by the infectiousness of your, of your manager on the touchline, but you can see the way you celebrate the goals that there's a real togetherness. Yeah, th especially this season, there's more of a fan base um, around us. They have the followers everywhere. Um, no matter where we are, they're there. And they are like the 12th man. You can hear them from the get-go to the final whistle. And it's them that push us over the line like when we need that little bit of like a boost. So, yeah, it's just important to us that it is to them. Well, I think we better let the ground staff um, yeah. do their job. Chloe, all the very best for Thursday. You can come along and, and support the girls if you want to find out how you can get yourself um, a ticket for the match. Head to CelticFC.com.